What's going on YouTube? Today's video, I'm going to be repairing this Southeast carbon fiber shaft. I got the shaft from my friend at Pool League and he's complaining that the shaft is making noise. It doesn't make noise when he hits the ball, but when he has the shaft made it with his butt and he just bangs it on the floor, you can hear like a ticking noise. So I mimic that, um, I figured out what that noise is. It's actually the ferrule. It came loose from the carbon itself. And if you listen in closely, you can hear it. So the bond between the carbon and the ferrule is loose. What I'm going to do is I will be removing this ferrule and then installing a new ferrule and of course putting a new tip with a tenant and hopefully it'll eliminate that noise and it'll be a solid connection. And here are some of the stuff I'll be using. Before I show you the items what I'm going to be using to repair the shaft, let me go ahead and do the measurements on the shaft itself. So for the shaft itself, I got my tape measure out and if you notice, this is over 29 inches long. It's close to 29.75 or 3 fourths inches long. Almost 30. And let's go ahead and measure the thickness of the ferrule. That way we could match it when I put it on the, the new ferrule. So you're looking almost 12.68. And the ferrule, not the ferrule, the shaft itself is at 1270 74 and pretty much 1275 we'll say about 1275 26 24 yep 1275 and the ferrule itself is 1270 close to 1270 1269 so those are my measurements and we'll, of course we'll try to keep everything the same I don't like changing the size of the the carbon itself you want to match the ferrule to the carbon and you don't want to send any of your the carbon shaft itself so we're gonna go ahead and show you the items I'll be using here are some of the items I'll be using to repair the shaft I have CA super glue this one's a thin one this one's a thick one alcohol sandpaper 600 600 grit this one's 1,000, 1,500, 2,000, some epoxy to bond this G10. This will be using as the tenant and also as a stem. And you'll see what I'll be doing and what, what I mean as a stem itself. And then the ferrule is a T34. This is polycarbonate Lexan. I'll be cutting this to size with my cutoff wheel and of course running it off on the lake. And in front of the, the Lexan, that will be the clear pad. I'll be installing this medium tip. I have some scotch tape so that I can tape it up on the carbon shaft and I don't scratch it when I have to sand the ferrule down to size. I got my calipers, some paper towels as I go along, the ma uh, tape measuring so that I can get the final length of the shaft itself, not making it longer or shorter. And I'll be using my mid-american culé for everything what i noticed when they built this carbon shaft, they used actually a T34 also. I can tell by the way it's chipping. And they actually used it as the whole rod going all the way from inside the carbon itself and making the ferrule. And that's how it's mated. So for some reason, the bond between the T34 and the carbon inside was loose and it made that noise. So I'm gonna have I'm gonna bore this out all the way down to the carbon on the inside. And once I bore that, that'll be I'll be using a G10 for the tenant. And it'll be a stronger a stronger uh, material. And of course using the T34 also for the ferrule. It took a little bit longer than what I expected. Uh, I had to get this really flush to the carbon. It had some excess glue and I didn't want to, I want to make sure I don't 
cut too deep on the carbon itself. Now what I'm gonna do is actually get my tool, get the center drill, center it, and then I'm gonna bore out the rest of the T34 so I can get a nice clean bond with the G10 to the carbon itself. When I was drilling in inside the carbon shaft and getting the T34 out, I noticed this T34 goes pretty deep, so I'm wondering how deep he actually put the T34 tenant all the way inside to the carbon. That adds a lot of weight on the carbon because you're just adding so much mass, making it a deflection shaft. I don't know if he liked it like that, but so I drilled a little bit over an inch. I'm gonna clean this all out and then put the G10 rod in. Now that I bored everything out, I'll show you how it looks inside. So I cleaned everything up inside, as you can see, you can see the, um, I don't know if you guys can see that but it still has some of the T34 inside um, down in here. So I don't want to go too deep and then loosen it because um, my boring tool doesn't go as far. So he, he pretty much put it, the person who did build the shaft put the T34 pretty deep inside. Now I'm going to go ahead and work on the G10 and prep it so that I can insert it into the shaft and of course I have a little plate. He wanted a little bit of a plate extended. That way this can act as the, where the clear pad and the, and the tip will be. It'll be a full, you can actually feel it full on the carbon itself. Now that we got the G10 to size and it fits perfect, all I'm gonna do is get this as the plate. This will be the tenant, cutting the G10 about here and help with plate. Then I will be boring this so it fits inside G, um, inside the tenant and getting this to size and measuring it exactly to the where the previous shaft was. Now that G10's cut, so this will be the bolt plate. You can see how it's a plate. I'm gonna cut this little thing off, make it flush. And if you notice, this is the size for the carbon shaft. And now I gotta get this and bore this out so it meets, meets inside and get the proper length measured so that once I insert it, it will be on the, the same, same length of the original shaft. Now that I pretty much prepped everything, as you can see, this is what I'm talking about. This is the stem, and this is the plate. That's the ferrule. 
So the ferrule will go inside the G10. This would be glued together. And once that's all glued together also, this will be also glued. Now, this is how it will look. This is the plate, that way you get a solid hit and it'll fill all the way to the, the carbon shaft itself. So now we just gotta get the measurements to make sure. We can get it exactly where we need it. So once I have these measurements, then I'll cut this down to size and of course make this flush, make this as flat as possible. And lucky, we always take pictures. Of the old carbon shaft. That way we have the exact length from the previous shaft. And when I make it, we can get it exactly right it's not bef it's right it's actually i said it was 9.75 is actually less than 9.75 so that's where we're gonna go because this is the 75 mark and it's just a little bit one tick below it so now all i gotta do is get this one there's a 75 mark and then get one tick below it so this will be sand it down and that sand it down cut to size. As you can see, this is what I'm doing. So I got it to length. Just like how the original was. You gotta remember, so the white, the white ferrule and this black uh, G10 is going to be the, act, the actual total length, not not just the ferrule will be the total length. That's just adding so much more weight, so we don't want to do that. We want to keep making this longer and longer, that just makes no sense. It just adds more weight, more deflection, and then the, the shaft hits like crap. So you try to mimic make, um, how the original was, and this is what I'm doing, so I can get the original length. I forgot to record this video, and as you can see, this is what I did on the G10. And the stem itself, I put this a little bit deeper because this is where the, um, the ferrule is going to be at. That way the glue can actually bond with this and then be better. And then this is where it's going to mate with um, the carbon shaft. And of course with this held on this way also. So that it shouldn't have that vibration. You don't want this so smooth that it, it um, the epoxy has nothing to grip. The epoxy should be dry now. Yep. Now I just gotta get this down to size. And once I get it down to size, I can put the clear pad and the tip and this shaft will be complete.
Here's the finished product. Let me look closely at it. This is how it turned out. There's the T34. There's the G10 pad that I was talking about. And remember how I stemmed it. So it went all the way down to the carbon itself. And uh, T34 is sitting on the G10. That way it gives you a full solid hit. There's the clear pad and just a regular medium tip. So now let's go ahead and take the measurements and to make sure that I didn't alter the shaft at all. Let's go ahead and measure out the shaft itself on the diameter. So we're gonna to go to the carbon. And get that close to it. And we got 1275 right on the, on the carbon itself. As you can see, I didn't change the diameter on the carbon. Let's go to the G10 area. And we got 1275 on the G10, so I made sure I got it straight. So let's go ahead and do the total length of the shaft now. So this is gonna be measured out to the G10, not the clear pad. So as you can see, I pretty much got it how the original was. Hopefully this video is informative. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button and leave a comment down below. Thank you for watching and see you next time. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe me. Don't forget the thumbs up. Bye bye. Our center. There we go. What the? <laughs>